because I forgot to turn on my light. Oh, what's this? What? Was that supposed to happen? Logging in. Side stories file. What is this? What? Pictures, music. What is this? The Metaverse Enterprise Solutions. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Why does one look different? You can use skip button to fast forward through text you've already read. Weird. Stream looking good? Okay. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. Well, Yori's take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... Geez, you better not have said anything bad, ab uh, bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write the same topic. Ugh, you can really see her doing that, too. Ugh. <laughs> I'm already failing. Making us write a simple topic, then trying to oppress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of... Metaphorical, too? Jeez, I had to use my real voice on that one. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the le very least, it was good practice. Uh, I guess Monica? Who should I get? Okay. Hi, Mr. Native. Have you thought about when you want to submit, perform, submit to a performer at the festival? Well... Being in this club is one thing. Forming in a bunch of people? Yeah. I have to give it some some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'll sure it'll turn out great. It also make me happy to see. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hand. Ha 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 ha. Kinda funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Sayori's poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so sinking with her. Then again, you're, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? You could say that. Although, we kind of grew up at as best friends I haven't been seeing much of her this past year but since I joined the club we've been spending a lot of time together again I see I see that reminds me how about uh, how about about how Sayori's been a little off to, about bleh, 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 can't talk about how Sayori's been a little bit off today yeah, did she tell you something? Um, well... Mr. Nao, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? A of course not. I've been treating her like I always do. Alright. Just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her. So keep an eye on her. Sarah has been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. 
what could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. This really isn't the time. Ugh, this really isn't the time to be ta uh, talking about this. Anyway, I'll show you my poem now. All right. Eh. Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's read this. Let's just go down this rabbit hole of this game since I played it. Might as well. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who in wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found answer. All meaning, all purpose. And all that was ever, <laughs> was ever sought. Here I am, a, fa a father? Feather. Feather. <laughs> Lost adrift the sky, victim of the current of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all, when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the tilted sky. Under one day the wind below. I fall. And I fall and fall and fall. Even more. A gentle as a feather. Empty. Can't talk, I'm sorry. <laughs> I dry quill a dry quill expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumbs and fing forefingers. The hand of a beautiful lady. Look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. Not your legend. Your legend does not exist, and with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers all are all the sorts of things that give you life and meaning. Not to get too phys philosophical or anything, but it was kind of in my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had uh, all the answers, wouldn't, wouldn't this story start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. Seems like everyone in this club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Haha, <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we would really have... We wouldn't have... Really have anything to write about, would we? Jeez. Sorry. I just skipped that part, sorry. I think you know the better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you, are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put much, so much into. But if you find others who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Ooh. But because of it, because instead of telling you that your writing is good, or okay, or bad, then I want to focus more on everything that went into it, and the things you work on much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. I don't know why I did that voice. <laughs> okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? I almost said fighting out. <laughs> oh, not a second. <laughs> Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You devoted your, un your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Yes. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yori isn't immune to it. Oh... Bad green air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe? Look, the only thing different is that Siori isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. Ah, Siori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. 
Why the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just... <laughs> I thought she just went to pee. Natazuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go or to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey dovey. Uh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I I gotta like make some voices for this. I'm sorry, but this is straight up just dialogue. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. Anyways. Uh, first of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, he's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to feel wanted to force it. Oh. That curious expression coming from Yori, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What, what did you say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what uh, what everything will be, or what everyone will be doing this weekend. I don't even know what I'm doing. That's right. Nasuzuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them in the different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Nasuzuki? Alan accepted. And as for myself, I'll be going to, I'll be... I'm going to be printing, assembling all the poetry pamphlets. They already be helping me design them. And as for Yori, Yori, you can, um, um guys, can you help me with something with your for Yori? I'm useless. Ah, this scary game. What? All right. Well, hey, no spoilers because I'm, I mean, I'm in three hours of this game, so. I'm not exactly sure what's going on on this, so kind of, kind of keep the keep the spoilers a little bit, and and uh, thank you for all the likes too. I'm useless. No, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person you know. Now Nezuzuki's pouting too. Easy, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder. I knew when she's not around. Who's my favorite character? <sighs> Each one of them has a weird personality, but I'm assuming just, I don't know. Ah, it's man, hard. Ah, okay. If I'm going to have to pick one, personality wise, in a sense, would probably have to be. I don't know who to pick because <laughs> they all have a weird personality but I guess whoa was that me <laughs> um Yori I'm, I'm gonna be honest he's a little dense but I know someone like that <laughs> okay so let's see where I uh, yeah, okay. Ah, huh. that may not, uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yori, yeah, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So, you should make some banners and decorations to help set up the atmosphere. Here? Um, about that. I, I love atmosphere. Yori's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk and focuses and starts nodding to herself. You mind, it, your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'd be wonderful help, Yori. But anyways, this just leaves you, Mr. Native. The one who truly useless. <laughs> ah, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuzuki and Yori have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably be, it would probably go a long way to give one of, one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would appreciate of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of the club members? How on earth are you going to respond to something like that? Your fave is not Suzuki because she's mean. 
I can see, okay, you know what? If you're into that, that's awesome. You know, good, you know, cool. Uh, I don't find her mean. I just find her very like, knowing her background just a little bit, it makes sense why she's like that. Like, she seems very, def like very defensive in a sense from what I've been like reading this. Like the background, I mean, like so far from what I'm seeing, is like she's very uh how would you put it like very on defense on everything she does which makes sense how on earth are you guys running Ugh. um so what was my one mind a bit of help well even if you don't know how to beg there's always some d dirty work i could give you it's not like monica is going to give me a choice you wouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway now suzuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that um, if I recall, Nazuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Mr. Native, uh, <laughs> may not like to be around. You will only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assist with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Hey, thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ebs? Ebs? I think that hopefully I'm saying your name right. But thanks for the follow, man. Thank you. I do. Uh, it should be under the same name. Give me a second. Yep. Should be just under Mr. Native Nobody. Hey, thank you. Wow, thank you. Seriously. Should be still under the same uh, Mr. Nato nobody. And I think I have a link on my uh on my um TikTok profile. But I really appreciate it. Thank you. Anyways, uh some of all like you're making excuses for Mr. Native. Native, too. What are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't. Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it would be up to Mr. Nave to decide how would he would like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Please. Can we settle this already? Yeah... Mr. Neighbor. Uh, Mr. Neighbor. Alright. Mr. Native. I'm not Mr. Neighbor. <laughs> You're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, uh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Uh, but of course, I'm going with... Oh, I can actually pick Sayori. Yeah, but she left and doesn't want... Uh... But she left and kind of doesn't want to be near my character, so. Uh. Originally, I was going for Yori. So, I guess we can tr pick up Yori. Yeah. Well, I'll probably most be useful helping out Yori. Me? Are you serious? Why would you? Azuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no. I was just saying, ah, they'll be helping out Yori then, Mr. Native. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these th sort of things. But I think your assistance would be very useful. That's great to hear. Ah, sorry. sorry I'm just checking my... Checking both streams, making sure everything is going good. All right. Nazuki will be helping be able to help handle the baking yourself. I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. 
Everyone can tell that Nazuki's feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, I'm excited not to be, be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to, to it a little bit. You feel the same way, Mr. Native? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it turns out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Ms. Nazuki? Hmm. Nazuki. What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No. Not what I meant at all. Ah. Yori's anxious glance between everyone in the room. I'm, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Mr. Native picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best. Cupcakes are your, the cup, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. Jesus. I have to continue reading that. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I'll do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Wh why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I don't know why I gave her that voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I asked something bad. If I said something bad. Nazuki is the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back by Yori's words. When she already had trouble with words, trying to cheer some uh, someone up must be far out of her comfort zone. But I began to understand Yori was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. <laughs> well, thank you for that. <laughs> I don't know. I just... I've been reading for this for like three hours of my last stream, and I was just like using my normal voice, but I figured I'll just give a shot at female voices. My voice is deep as it is, so I'm, just, I'm taking a shot in the dark on it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. Now, I kind of I kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh, I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for me today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuzuki out the door, and they chat between each other. Um, eh. I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, yeah, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Did I give you my phone number? Every time she moves her hands, I just think it's like her, her top is unbuttoned fast. Freaks me out something. I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. You and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. And I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought I would be going one be going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press Yori for a reason. It's not like I should matter much anyway. So I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you, or you are. Don't overestimate yourself. Underestimate, overestimate. Underestimate yourself, Mr. Native. I think that'll make a very good a very productive team. Even if we only choose me because you felt bad or something. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? I, I don't know. If you were to come up with any reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason uh, with the most common sense. I choose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but... Yori thinks to herself with an extreme tense expression. Yori, you're overthinking this. Yeah, the music is actually really nice. I'm not gonna lie. 
<laughs> I like Nazuzuki's voice um, when it goes to hers. It's just, what is it? Is it, what is that instrument called? Is it like, uh, I know it's a bunch of pipes. Ah, I know it's a bunch of pipes. That I do know. I do know it's a bunch of like little tube pipes, I think, for hers, like very simplified. But then I like the music though. Uh, okay. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh, and realize I'm telling you I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? Yori thinks really hard again. He looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yori finally says that and relaxes her expression. I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. I am too. After exchange, I make my way out the door and Yori follows. I can't believe this. Yori is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of my school. Outside of the school. <laughs> More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is there a chance I might make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? <sighs> Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. Yay! Happy times! Seriously, this game, what is it? <laughs> I Don't tell me, I'm just really clamoring to the idea of it. So, don't tell me yet. Just let me express myself on this. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I have to check that out. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yori's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yori is clearly an introvert, and I'm also an in intimate person in general. There's no doubt she'll open up a little bit, uh, open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. When it's the two of us. Just, I, I messed up that song already. <laughs> Have I played Metal Gear 5? Uh, kinda. Never beat it, though. I only played a little bit of it. Meanwhile, you've been texting occasionally. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. It was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot, actually. In fact, after this game, maybe the month of uh, November, I'm gonna try to go through all the Metal Gears. I've beaten 1, 2, and 3, and 4. I kind of played... What was the game before 5? Where you're just in that little... In that little area. I can't remember what it was called. The guy left. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you for all the likes. Wow. Thank you. I just noticed that all the likes. Thank you. Thank you for the 2K likes. I appreciate it. Honestly. I really do appreciate all of it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm entertaining. I I hope I'm entertaining. I'm just I'm just I'm I am i do not know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just playing a game that I have no clue what it's about, but I just know that I was supposed to play it because I'm really close to something. I guess. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, by putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since the, she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between, between what you, sir, Sayori, uh, Sayori said and what Monica said, I have an air bubble. Is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decided to visit Sayori before Yori comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we're done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often, we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. 
The house is quiet. 